Okay. Rainy days in the bus. <laughs> it's been raining so much for the past couple days. And... Well, first off, I guess, that's we're not in Boulder. Yeah. We're still in the <laughs> same spot because Boulder flooded last night. It's been raining for two days straight. And that's going to uh, bring us into the theme of today's video, which became super prevalent in our lives, and that is why solar energy sucks. <laughs> we'll just start off by saying we think solar power is amazing yeah, and like it. the coolest thing in the world, but it has a lot of downsides and a lot of compromises, and you know, it's fine because that's true in any faucet of life. There are always comprom compromises, especially in nature, but it's just crappy when you depend on solar to like power your electronic devices, to keep living zeal going, to communicate with people. Yeah. So whether you're on the road already or you're getting ready to do a conversion, we just want to help you to realize the compromises you're going to have to make and how difficult it's been for us over the past year. And then hopefully the kind of give you some ideas of things we thought about to mitigate um, the issues with solar and kind of try to come up with different sorts of solutions. Yeah. So uh, the first thing, I guess we're going to do it chronologically. The first thing we noticed in the bus, the first issue we had with solar was whenever the days started getting shorter and late fall, winter, when, you know, it, the sun goes down at like four thirty, five o'clock and it rises even later or it rises at like nine so yeah we were charging all of our stuff like we normally were last summer when we lived in the bus and we were just noticing that by the time we would go to bed our what is it called solar charge controller thing yeah would be like in the low 11s and sometimes at one night a couple nights it just shut off and the power inverter would just shut off so yeah. like last night i took pre preemptive measures and went ahead and just turned off the power the the inverter um, but that was the first time we noticed when, when we weren't able to charge things anymore, we had to like go to Denny's and stuff to charge stuff. Buy a coffee and like plug mm -hmm. all of our stuff in there. Yeah. That was interesting during the winter. It also doesn't get as high in the sky. So there's a few things fighting against you in the winter. It doesn't last as long and the sun doesn't get as high. So only half the bus was getting solar energy because the panels are staggered like that. Yeah, exactly. So, um, with that and snowstorms. Yeah, exactly. Snowstorms on top of the bus. If you want to keep solar energy coming in the midst of a snowstorm, you have to like get up on the roof every hour or a couple hours and sweep all the snow off. Um, and you know, if you're in the midst of, of a heavy downpour, then downpour, heavy, heavy snowfall, snowstorm, yeah. um, then you're kind of screwed because who wants to go outside and, yeah. and Put snow off once. One uh, benefit of snow we realized is that when it does cover the ground everywhere around you and you do have clean panels and the sun is out and it's snowy, you're, you get a lot of energy because the snow reflects the solar energy black back onto the solar panels, which right. is pretty cool. Yeah. But a lot of cleaning usually has to come in first before that. Exactly. Um, so yeah, we noticed that in the winter time and then we, because of, we, because we were dealing with that all winter long, we were like, we need to get some more solar panels on the roof so that we don't deal with this again. But as the year went on and now we're in the midst of spring and summer's just around the corner, we haven't really been having too many issues because we've been having longer days. You know what I mean? The sun comes yeah. out at like 6.30 and is out until... 8 30 or whatever so we get solar all day long however when it rains because it's springtime it, it just kind of stopped us up with yep. energy we are real low right now i checked the power and the, really? the, we have a little um readout right next to the bed so we can see the solar at all any given time and we're in the we're in the middle levens right now which isn't great mid to high um so yeah we actually had to hop in the car this morning and head over to Zaina's mom mm -hmm. uh and charge our stuff a little bit this morning to even make this video yeah exactly and that's such a blessing because obviously a lot of people don't have people's houses nearby that they can go to and just plug in their stuff um, when they're dealing with these compromises with solar so we're in a really lucky position to be able to use their house and kind of charge up on everything but another thing that we've realized since it started to get a little warmer Right now, when we parked here initially, the trees weren't all blooming and we weren't in the shade. But now we're getting in the shade. In the shade, obviously, you can't park in the shade and expect to get any solar energy. Right. However, as it gets warmer, you notice that you have to be parked in direct sunlight in order to get the energy you need. But it heats up the wherever you are, in your bus, your van, whatever, so quickly that it's almost a trade-off to like park in the shade and not have to use the swamp cooler and, and not worry about getting the energy because you're not using it. You know, it's yeah. like... It's always this trade-off. So I think what we've decided to do for having to always park in the sun. So when we get our property, we want to 
plant trees around the bus yeah. so that we're in the shade and then do an external uh like a mobile solar thing solar thing that yeah, we can solar keep in the sun you can yeah move. and also the other cool thing about that is then you can like tilt them throughout the day and like kind of follow the sun to make sure you're getting max energy but of course it's hard right now we don't have like detachable solar panels they're all mounted to the roof um so yeah we've been having to run the swamp cooler which uses 200 watts right about 200 watts and we have 400 watts on the roof so it uses half of our like full energy capacity and we usually don't get 400 watts to begin with I've Every never day. actually seen 400 watts, yeah, you know, it's, usually it in the, like, it's like 200 mid, max, yeah. 250 max, 300 if you're lucky. Yeah, exactly. Um, that might just be because of our solar panels. I don't know what yeah. that is. Um, one thing you always have to do um is get up on the roof and just clean them off with some i use vinegar and water just every few days we get up there spray them off and wipe them down because dust will build up on there it especially if you're traveling huge difference huge difference yeah and another thing when you're traveling there's another pro um when you're on the road you're picking up solar energy so when we were traveling all throughout the west coast wandering series it was great because we'd park in the in night and have all of our energy was full because we were just driving throughout the day on the highway and it also wasn't energy. getting that hot in here because we had like the windows open while we were yeah. driving so it, like circulated cool air um and yeah we, we didn't have to compromise with energy at all on that we ultra. very rarely really have to compromise like just keep an eye on it you know if it drops below like 11 8 mm -hmm. then maybe stop using any high wattage stuff it made us really start to pay more attention to how much energy we were using like this light bulb right here is a four watt light bulb Pretty which is cool. like next to nothing compared to the old 45 to 120 watt light bulbs you just right. can't use that kind of stuff so i love solar we both love solar we don't even have yeah, the ability to plug awesome. in um, we just wanted to make sure we could be completely off the grid and completely solar. So before we, but before we go buy a generator or before we go get like shoreline hookups in the bus, we would actually just go get more, more. solar panels, because to us we'd rather just always be off the grid, always have, uh, always just get our our energy from the sun. Um, I mean, call us some hippies that's fine that's how we want to do it if you are building a solar kit right now and that's what brought you to this video make sure you check out our other video we'll put a card for it right there yeah um we really spent a lot of time researching everything that that you would need to know to build a great off-grid solar setup and we did a great video about it that we're really proud of we sure did yeah and so, exactly how to like if you're at the beginning of your conversion stage it goes into how to figure out how much power you're going to need right how many solar panels you need to buy how many batteries you need to buy um and you know we thought that this would be good enough and we're realizing more and more that it would probably be smart to invest in another panel or two so in the you know in the future can't have too we'll much do that. So it seems. Yeah, Sorry. exactly. Um, all right. Well, yeah, we really hope you guys got some good information out of this. We're just going to kind of hang out the rest of the day. Chad is going to edit up this video that he, we have like enough charge just to get this video done for you guys. Um, and then we're going to kind of utilize some, some non-electronic entertainment so that we don't have to we would play you we, i know we promised you guys hey jude in the next video but we actually don't have enough <laughs> energy to turn on the piano right now so um we'll have to wait <laughs> sorry about that we're gonna we'll do it in the live stream tomorrow yeah so, exactly tomorrow morning 9 a.m i think 9 a.m 9 a.m mountain standard time 9 a.m mountain standard time we're gonna do our live stream so um that's always a good time so Check us out, and we'll play Hey Jude for you then. As yeah. As we get a little solar juice. A week into piano practice. It's been super fun. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching another one. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, become a patron if you want to check out those videos. Every week we do a patron-only video. Um, just to give you a little heads up on the patron-only videos, we heard we were getting great reception to this, but we do those videos uncut. We don't edit them at all. So it's, it's just like us. Raw and just raw. Files. And yeah, so it's kind of... <laughs> They're kind of wacky videos, and uh, we hope you guys are enjoying those. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow for the live stream. Oh, yeah, and don't forget to comment down below. Yeah. Solar. Solar juice. Solar sets. So, oh, it's only but 10 minutes. There we go. Now it's 10 minutes long. Mm, 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 mm. Is the lighting okay? My face looks weird from here, but it might just be confirmed. You were much brighter than me, but we're going to say it's okay. When I see it